this is the case of a 57 years old male. On 2012, he underwent resection with lymphadenectomy for a cutaneous melanoma of the left shoulder. A surveillance MR showed a 6 per 4 centimeter lesion between the pancreatic head and the duodenum, suggestive for lymph node metastasis. PET CT confirmed a one big lesion tightly close to the pancreatic head and duodenum, suggestive for metastasis. These MRI scans show a 52 millimeter in homogeneous mass arising in the porta cavo space, causing a compression of inferior vena cava, duodenum, and pancreatic head with a small rim of solid tissue in its medial aspect and colliquated central portion, suspicious for lymphadenopathy. Scheduled procedure. EU has guided fine needle biopsy for histological examination. Learning objectives. Indication to perform EUS FMB. Which needle to choose to perform EUS FMB? I'll pass the floor to the endoscopic room. Hello again. <laughs> Hello again. We are back, and uh, I have the pleasure and honor to have Professor Mark Giovannini, Professor Laghi, next to me. And uh, we took some time with Mark here. We, we did a very nice anatomic review. Yeah. Thanks to Mark. And you can see we're going to start with the papilla area here, yeah. right there. And you can see the SMV, and this is the lesion. No, it's in this here. Yes. Right there. So at this stage, you can clearly see an invasion of the SMV by this metastatic uh, lymph node, probably, right there. We, I'm using the Fuji system here. We adjusted the pixel to be able to, to differentiate the lymph node, which is right here. In this, in this plane, the lymph node measure approximately five mm. by four centimeter. You can see the center is kind of necrotic. And as I just showed you, there is invasion of the SMV. But if you come back in this plane here, just like Mark is showing us very nicely, there is compression of the vena cava. Yeah. Right there. And in this plane, in, in, in exactly that plane, right below here is the aorta with the takeoff of the SMA. Yeah. The okay? Yes, we're well, the origin of the SMA, SM yeah. here. Yeah. This is the origin of the supermesentric artery, and this is the inferior vena cava. And this node is located uh, uh, in the lower part of the incident process, and it compresses the, 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 the inferior vena cava. Huh? So it's, it's very important when, when you stage a lesion to differentiate compression from invasion, because that changed completely the surgical you know, uh, prognosis. In this case, it's a metastatic lymph node, so there's not going to be any surgery. What's going to be important, and it's going to dictate any chemo radiation protocol, obviously, is tissue. As you know, tissue is very important here. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to demonstrate to you a fine needle biopsy, an FMB procedure. So there's a lot of debate in the literature about which needle you should use, how you should use an FMB, etc. So in this specific case, we have actually the pleasure of using a needle that was never used in a life course. It's the, um, it's the new uh, tripod needle from uh, Boston, and it's called the Acquire needle. Uh, just, so a, just I did a comment. I, I will do a comment on this kind of, of uh, biopsy. Yeah. The biopsy is not for the diagnostic of metastasis because this is the metastasis. Yeah. Right. The, right. the diagnostic is to have uh, biolocular uh, analysis of the of the of the lesion because you know that for melanoma, for also uh, bronchial carcinoma, uh, we need the, the today uh, to have uh, um, to have the molecular analysis because you have. Uh, Target therapy. Uh, is there are different uh, drugs in function of the of the the um, the, uh, uh, the biomarker uh, inside the the, the, the the lesion, and this is this for this reason that is very very uh, very important. Uh, exactly. Yes. Yes. So individual medicine. Yes. yes. So I would like to camera to zoom on the extremity of the needle. I want to show the extremity of the needle, and I want to kind of go over the the design of the needle. So. As I said, there's very limited data, but the concept, if you, can, if you can zoom over the needle here, the concept is to give the needle a needle tip grint that actually in the form of a tripod. They have all the same dimension, and they create a groove in between those, those, three, those three prongs. 
that supposedly allow us to get more tissue. So this is an opposition of the Charcot needle, for instance, that used to belong to Beacon, now to Medtronic, where there's an asymmetric dimension. The concept behind this needle is you can capture more tissue in the, in the, in the design of a tripod versus, versus the design of an asymmetric probes, okay? It's a cobalt chrome needle. Obviously, we don't have much data on this, but I want to I wanna insist that this has been inspired from the IR literature. Indeed, mm. in uh, interventional radiology, when they do percutaneous, uh, when they do percutaneous biopsy, they have the exact same design of a tripod, okay? But so the, this, is the, this is a 22 the gauge needle? Uh, yes. Uh, do, you, do you think, uh, if I, do you think that it's not better to use a larger needle? Uh, do you think that the, just the concept of the, of the, of the needle is uh, better than to use a larger caliber needle? I Let's put the, the, the water, the, the what? water. Yeah. The water? Yes. Put what the water? Saline, saline, can you? Put ah, you want to inject water inside the channel, okay. Yes. So, to, uh, fast, so I agree with Mark that if you have a bigger needle, you have bigger sample. The problem, unfortunately, is, especially in the duodenum, it's a little bit harder I know, to push I know, larger I know, needles. I know. Wet, That's wet true. Technique, wet technique. Wet technique, okay. Mm. okay. All right, so. Can you hear us? So basically, yeah, 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 yeah. we are Please. injecting the needle with water, and that's going to create the pressure to, to do the famous wet technique. So that is the favorite way of, of doing it uh, for, for um, uh, Alberto. I, I prefer the, the, the pull-through technique, which creates uh, also a movement of the tissue. So the first thing I'd like to do before doing anything is get a Doppler. See where the vessels are. So that's uh, that should be a reflex, you know, in your brain. Here, so I can see that there's no much vessel interposed between the small bowel and this lesion. This is good. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to open the needle here and very gently advance. I want to see the needle before doing my biopsy. So you see, I'm going to see my needle, and then here I am. I'm into the lesion. So at this stage, I like to do a fanning. Very important to do the fanning. Whatever, whatever technique you do, the fanning allows you to get tissue a little bit uh, in every direction and in every plane. You see, very gently, I stay in the lymph node and I do some fanning here constantly. How many times do you go back and forth? I try to go back and forth for at least uh, 15, 20 times. You know? And Michael, what do you do with the first pass? Do you apply any suction or is it first a dry tap? So I typically do, uh, so I know, I know that uh, Alberto loved the wet technique. I typically do a pull through first, mm -hmm. and I use suction as a salvation technique. I think this is good. So you first see how bloody your first sample is, you mean? Yeah, I, tr I try to not bloody my first sample. So I'm going to pull back here. So the, the design is very, very similar to the expect needle, as you can see. It's a slimline uh, design. In my mind... Uh I think uh, also that the, the technique to do biopsy should be modified from a DFNA technique. Mm -hmm. so I usually do one, two, three, maximum four, as it would be a trucker. So I don't go back and forth in the same place mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as much as you do. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I perform USFNA since more than 25 years now. And I think, uh, I think the, 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 the best thing is to put the needle uh, inside of the lesion and to have a good pathologist. If the camera can zoom on the design of this new needle, because I don't think everybody was able to appreciate, because I, I want to show that tripod uh, design, you have to zoom here. Yeah, it's difficult to see because it's uh, too bright. There is, Mark is going to help me. Yeah, it's, it's not possible. Uh, it's, it's, too too bright. Bright. it's too bright. It's too bright. Yeah. Too bright. Yeah. Too bright. But the, the tip is uh, it's like the shark needle, as it uh, seems. Yeah. Except. Yeah. Can we can we show a picture in the room? That would be actually great. 